What's up, y'all? Mike from allamerican.org, and we are back for part three of our Fitness Equipment Made in the USA series, this time talking about functional fitness equipment. So I have some previous videos on strength equipment and cardio equipment, so we're back with more great American-made brands. And as always, we do have some written research on these topics, so make sure to check allamerican.org, or you can just Google allamerican.org plus whatever type of functional fitness equipment that you're looking for should have an article for you. And I'll make sure to put those links in the description below as well. So we got eight different categories of equipment to go through in today's video. So we're just gonna jump right into these great American-made brands. If y'all have any questions on material sourcing or any other topics related to finding this functional fitness equipment, definitely leave me a comment below or shoot me a message using the email addresses that you can find on allamerican.org and I'll make sure to help find out for you. But generally, when it comes to functional fitness equipment, you'll get an idea of what we're talking about as we go through some of the categories. There is some really good options when it comes to material sourcing and actually finding brands that are 100% made in the USA. So a lot of our recommendations are pretty close to 100% made in the USA, and a bunch of them are sourcing all of their materials from US suppliers. So we'll get right into these brands, starting with kettlebells. First up is Rogue Fitness. Now Rogue is obviously a huge well-known brand in the fitness space. They're based in Columbus, Ohio. They actually own a ton of their manufacturing facilities and are very vertically integrated. Not everything that they offer in their online store is made in the USA, but they have a really solid navigation to help you find the stuff that is made in the USA. With their kettlebells, they have a powder coated as well as an e-coated version of their kettlebells. I actually have a couple in my garage gym, but generally a great option and really easy to find. USA Iron is another good option when it comes to kettlebells. They are based in Kearney, New Jersey, and they make kettlebells from 100% recycled cast iron. And then a couple of more unique options are Zoo Bells and Iron Skull Fitness. If you want something that is in the shape of a super cool skull or lion's head or something like that, definitely check out those guys. They have some really unique design options. And then a few brands to watch out for in kettlebells that are not made here. The Bowflex Adjustable Kettlebell, not made here. Kettlebell Kings, also unfortunately imported. And then Onyx Kettlebells, Vulcan, as well as Titan, pretty much all their kettlebells are imported. All right, let's move on to resistance bands. First up is Fitcord, which is based in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Their family-owned business and their resistance bands have a patented dipping process and a really unique manufacturing approach that makes them really, really durable and help you get a great workout. They're also pretty affordable, so definitely check out Fitcord. Again, Rogue Fitness, another good option here. They have a bunch of resistance bands that are made in the USA. Just make sure to use those filters on their website. And then 360 Bands is another great option. 360 Bands is based in Massachusetts. They have three different intensity levels to their bands, and they are also really easy to hold. All right, let's move on to jump ropes. First up is Jumpin' Rope. They're based in Louisville, Colorado, and have a ton of great speed rope options if you need something of that level of intensity. Again, Rogue, another good option here. You can check out their Rogue Pro Jump Rope as well as their SR2 for a couple of good options. And then RX Smart Gear, another good option here. They're based in El Cajon, California. Check out their Evo G2 Jump Rope in particular. When we spoke to their team, they verified that they do source a lot of those materials for that jump rope from US suppliers, although the plastic parts are shipped in from overseas. But still a good option there, and they are the official jump rope, I believe, of USA Boxing and a bunch of other really nationalized sports. And then last one in jump ropes, Hyper Rope, a good option for battle ropes if you need something a little bit heavier. Some of those are made in the US. They do have some that are made in Canada. So if you're unsure and about to buy them, just check with their customer service team. They should help you point you in the right direction for which ones are made in the US. All right, let's move on to pull-up bars. I'll keep mentioning Rogue just because they have so many different products in their online store and they also have some pull-up bars that are made in the US, both wall-mounted and ones that you can mount to your rig or big squat rack. PRX Performance is a brand that I mentioned in my previous video on how to find strength equipment made in the USA. They have some good wall and rig mounted options as well. 
And then Iron Company is another good option. They're based in Flower Mound, Texas. They have some good wall-mounted pull-up bars. Not everything that they have in their online store is made in the USA. It's absolutely massive, but they do have a nice category page where you can look at all of the American-made options and easily shop for things like pull-up bars, other functional equipment, or weightlifting equipment. And then Stay Fit Systems is the last brand that I'll mention in pull-up bars. They're based in Maple Valley, Washington, and they specialize in outdoor fitness equipment, but they also have some good wall-mounted options for pull-up bars. All right, let's move on to plyo boxes. Now, there's a ton of different types of materials that you can get for a plyo box. A lot are made from wood, some from foam with a kind of nylon or synthetic exterior, and others from a hardened plastic. There's good American-made options across all three of those. Starting with Rogue, they have a good resin plyo box. Metal ones, Iron Company also has some good metal plyo boxes that you can look at in their online store. If you want foam, check out Resolite. They're based in Pennsylvania. They actually specialize in wrestling pads and protective pads, but they have some really great foam plyo boxes for functional exercises. And then Hadar Athletic is another good option for foam plyo boxes. They typically specialize in sports equipment and accessories, but have some other really good equipment for just home workout sessions as well. And then last couple here for plyo boxes, Abmat Rubox as well as Powerlift have some good options as well. All right, last couple of categories here, going on to medicine balls. Generally a ton of good options when it comes to medicine balls. There's not much to them, so a lot of companies can afford to make those in the US, but a few really good options in terms of brands that I like. Iron Company has some in their online store. Rogue, another good option as well. Abmat makes some, and then Dynamax is another good manufacturer. And we'll round out today's video with sleds. So workout sleds are a great option for getting in a good functional workout. And there are a few brands that are making some sleds that are assembled in the US. A few have some globally sourced components, but are generally some really good options. Starting off with Rogue, their dog sled is one that you can check out in their store that is American made. Powerlift also makes a really good US sourced sled. And then Shot Sled is another good option. This is one that you might typically see on like a football practice field or for combat sports training. So if you want a model like that, you can check out Shot Sled. All right, so functional training obviously covers a ton of different categories, and I'm sure I did not touch on every single one of them today. So if there's brands that I missed that you really like for getting your functional workouts done, make sure to leave a comment below and shout them out. And like I said before, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out. We'll help find an answer for you. And if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for supporting your country and shopping American-made. See you all next time.